Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 26. Okay, the previous episode, um, it was divided into two sections. The first section was how, like, you know, the, the fight between how and like, you know, like what happened, the aftermath of um, the X, uh, you know, the X3 actually sacrificing themselves. We saw that, how changed the element to water and we got a little uh, explanation of the whole like you know which is advantageous to which element and what can change into what element that explanation uh, which thanks to the comments like you know I was able to really understand pretty well because I feel they did not clearly enough uh, explain that in the anime in that small little section like I had a little bit and pieces of confusion and it was like you know like thanks to the comment section it really got cleared up and uh, yeah that was that and then the next se section uh we had a little flashback the flashback which goes back to the first episode where we got you know the we got to see how how and yo are related and the extra thing that we got to know was that how and yo are actually um like one half like halves of each other and that probably explains why how is so um affectionate towards yo and like you know wants to see his growth through all these things so yeah that was that so that's what happened so let's see what this episode brings you know and how this goes and uh, yeah so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 26 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started okay so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> oh, we're still in the flashback? Hmm. Wait, is this? This is, um, Ren's? Yeah. Wait, this is the mom? Yeah, this is the mom. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> they knew each other, okay. D did they ever tell us that uh, house family actually uh, not how sorry um yo's family actually were acquainted with ren's family i don't think they ever mentioned that dude did they this is the first time we're seeing this oh interesting All right. Hmm. Okay, we're back to the present. Oh, that was awkward. What happened? Did he say something? Oh, okay, so he was narrating the portion. Well, a baby who can fly can probably even survive, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a flying baby. 
yeah exactly that's what i was saying exactly like it's no problem for him hmm Well, hmm. <laughs> okay, he's lacking certain emo. Wait, who's? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, we'll win. <laughs> what? What else? How's okay? Yeah. Oh boy. One. Okay. Oh yeah, well, oh, oh he's <laughs> he's chilling. Oh no, maybe not. This... Oh yeah, he is chilling. Magna Nicro. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. Trust yourself to nature. Ah, adapting. Make the supreme power of it. Okay. Oh no, this is not a flashback. They're actually here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they said something about uh, Yo's mom was. Oh. Own personal revenge. Oh, 
Oh! Wait, so they're... Oh, they're going to... Okay, this is nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's saying that, yeah. Ah, uh, well, weak. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, okay, this is getting interesting. <laughs> Hmm. Now they're they're not neutral completely. Like anything can happen. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yahoo. Wait, wasn't he going to fight Ren's dad? Put it to the test. Whoa! Oh my god! What the? Ha! It's gone! Yeah, <laughs> not enough. More power. <laughs> you need more training. Okay. <laughs> He's just going back to his normal place. <laughs> okay, so that means he won against his dad. Wait. There you go. Mikisa. <laughs> What's it mean? <laughs> uh. Oh my god. <laughs> well... Oh my god, the dad and the <laughs> both are saying the same thing. <laughs> Oh boy, You're, actually he's underestimating yours dad. He said that don't underestimate me, but he's underestimating him. Okay. Okay, what happened here? Oh! Oh my god. I, I would have loved to see their fight, you know? Oh, are these the Shikigamis? Yeah. Wow. Super what?
All right. What the? What's happened? Oh, these are like clones. Okay. <laughs> it's just on top. <laughs> nah, those are just. Okay. Okay, he's getting too cocky, yeah. What? Sword Mirage. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Field of battle. Of lightning sun. Whoa. Damn. Wow, that's cool looking. Bushin. Yeah, he's a little bit too overconfident. <laughs> yeah, you're mistaken. Like, he's forgetting that he's more experienced. Hmm. But he, nah. <laughs> okay. This baby. Ooh. Damn, that's a harsh. Oh boy. Yeah, you're getting a bit too cocky. Like, yeah. Like, confidence is good, but being so overconfident and like belittling others is not good. Okay. Spheres, okay. Wow. <laughs> you can like... <laughs> He's just dodging everything. Ooh! Ooh! Damn! Just stripped him! <laughs> like your friends... <laughs> like, you know, playing a... Plays a prank on you, trip you. Oh my god. Don't have shadows. Okay. <laughs> okay, you you doesn't even know that this is happening. It's Furiaku's, uh, yeah, Furiaku. Oh boy.
tenth okay ten thousand versus a million okay mm, yeah <laughs> true <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's not that easy. Yeah, because this is not individual power. It's broken up. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's broken up power. That won't work. Mm. But we don't have much time. That's the problem here. <laughs> oh, then no. Okay. I thought he did not know. Oh my god. Well, this <laughs> is <So> spiky. <laughs> What? Oh. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how how much his Furioku is. Uh, Mickey goes. Oh, okay. So he went through a lot of training after that. Encountered the world beyond. Wow. Yeah, like Ren was actually being cocky against this guy. This person who went through so much. As I said, being confident is, confident is good, but not like this. <laughs> so swatting a fly. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, he's just like using one hand to. Yeah, he's going all out. True. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, shuffle up. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't know, how, like, the way this is kind of going, I don't know how I would actually feel if somehow, some way or the other, Ren actually defeats Yo's dad. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Because, at least I really don't think it is in any way possible for Ren in his current, like, you know, stage to defeat Yo's dad in any, any kind of way. I don't think it's possible. But... I don't know, I kind of, I'm feeling that the, the way they're like kind of doing this, you know, like the last scene especially, the next episode will probably see that he, he, I don't know, like he defeats Ryo's dad or something, something like that is probably going to happen. It feels as if it's going in that direction. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it if it, that really happens. Because as I said, 
it's impossible I, like whatever like i don't like i i refuse to believe that there's any kind of way that ren at his stage can defeat your dad i don't believe it at all however arduous training he went through however his determination is strongest i don't think it's possible because like it would have been a different case if like i know like shaman battles are actually def uh, defined by the determination okay that's it the amount of determination you have so if yo's dad michiko was someone that was like you know was very strong but had low determination and everything i would have been like you know what yeah it might be possible even though he is more experienced you know the determination like actually is the deciding factor of the shaman battles so i would have been like okay like maybe ren could win because ren's determination is very strong but i doubt mikihiko's uh, determination is any in any way less because as we saw mikiko has like you know has been blaming himself in a way and he has like you know gone through so much so many like you know he did so many things he actively trained himself through so many different like you know things so i doubt he is lacking in determination in any way so if you like you know if you scratch off determination what remains left is the actual experience and actual power mikihiko like uh about the power factor i don't know i'm still not sure how strong mikihiko is you know and how strong ren is but if you tell me that yeah ren is actually more stronger than mikihiko i i'll probably believe it you know because power is a completely different thing but through experience the experience factor here is also there determination factor experience factor and power so in determination he is in no way inferior to ren you know in power if you tell me that ren is stronger than mikiko yeah, i'll be surprised but it 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 won't i won't be like you know it, it it won't be that surprising you know i can kind of say that okay maybe maybe ren is more stronger in in terms of power in experience mikiko is way more experienced than ren in a lot of different ways so if you add all that up I don't think it's possible for Ren to defeat Mikiko, at least at this stage. And with the, like, you know, the way he's kind of seeing things, you know, like he, it's like, he's just, uh, what can I say? He's just, I don't know how to explain it, but the way he is doing this, like Ren, like, you know, kind of, he's, he's again going to, like, becoming, like, his, his vision is becoming a tunnel vision. You know, he's just looking at the, uh path in front without seeing anything else which is kind of good sometimes but most of the times it's kind of harmful like you need to like tunnel vision is very harmful so i don't know like <laughs> the way the, this episode kind of ended ended it's kind of making me feel maybe in the next episode we'll be seeing that ren like you know brings up some immense power which defeats mikiko i i don't think i'll be able to accept that i'm not sure but we'll see you know we'll see what happens in the next episode and if they actually give us some explanation about it, I'll like you know I'll see what. You know. But yeah, like I I doubt Ren is in any way capable of defeating Mikiko. Not only Ren, even if Ren, Horohoro, and Chokolov, three of them you know, together, attacks Mikiko, I doubt it's possible. At least now, we'll see. You know? Okay, so this episode here. Uh, Okay, first of all, the first scene uh, was kind of confusing. I thought that it was like a flashback, like, you know, the flashback was still going on. And I thought that, okay, so I, at that moment, I thought that, wait a minute. So that means uh, uh, the Tao family and the Asakura family, both of them knew each other before, like, you know, before everything happened. You know, uh, uh, at that moment, I thought, because I thought we were still in the, we were still in the flashback. But then after that, I realized that, no, this is not a flashback. It's that... Is actually happening in the present and the thing that I was actually saying in the previous episode I was saying that I wonder what happened to the mom to Yo's mom I got my answer here she's here that was Yo's mom wasn't it yeah so she's she's here and she's fine so I guess yeah okay so 
all right so they were actually talking about uh teaching the other character like you know like uh ren's team the sen senji just a sec so senji Ryakyatsu, uh he said that he's going to teach that to everyone which obviously is a good thing but <laughs> ren's dad obviously had to say like you know like i like i'm i kind of i knew that he was going to say that because he seems really like you know like a person who's very prideful and so this is very similar to Ren. Like we can, like we can see that. that like both of them, both Ren's dad and Ren, both of them said kind of the same thing when they met Mikihiko. Like you know, his dad was like, "Yeah, like I, I, like you know, like, uh, like I, 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 like you know, like my Ren has been taught in so many, like you know, different, uh, strong techniques. So I don't think that a weak person like you can do anything. Just fight me, and let's see who is stronger." And he gets beaten up after that. Now, that really shows how strong Mikihiko is. Again, you know, the scene that we saw there, Mikihiko barely was even sweating. When you see that scene when, like, you know, when uh, Ren's dad was, like, you know, all bloody and, <laughs> like, into the wall, crashed into the wall, he was. Mikiko was just standing there without even sweating. He was just there. So again, this is again another thing that kind of shows that Ren is probably won't be able to defeat Mikiko, at least at this stage. Like the the power level difference is a bit too much. So yeah. Okay. Mm, that was that whole scene. And that's when I actually realized that that was happening in the present. I thought it was happening in the past, in the flashback, but no, it was happening in the present. But Okay, and also how I got to know that um, Silva is doing something and some other shamans as well are also kind of going along with that. So, yeah, how is like, yeah, just leave it be and we'll see. <clears throat> okay, that was that. And then in comes Mikihiko in front of Ren and Horo Horo and Chocolove. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. As I said, I I like Ren's confidence. It's really good, you know. Ren's confidence and which is also like a big thing that is needed for shaman fights. Like confidence is something that you really need, especially because <laughs> confidence kind of like you know results in determination. So, yeah, so I like that, but I think in this, in this episode, he kind of went a bit too far because like, how can I say, uh, but I, you know what? I think he was a bit frustrated here <laughs> because he, he said something like, uh, like, you know, like I've had enough, like both, like all of your, <laughs> like, you know, family members just popping out one after the other, just like you know <laughs> just bothering me like i've had it enough like first it came in how in that episode when he said that yeah i'm going to teach you yeah, like you know like uh, join me all that stuff he said <laughs> then mikiko comes in so he's like yeah i've had enough i think that that was probably the reason why he got so pissed off like like i got a little bit surprised here actually that i i thought that like is is ren really that what can i say like blind with pride i don't think so like she like he knows yo is strong you know like, he knows that and this is yo's dad we are talking about so is he that blind with pride that he thinks that he can defeat yo's dad who not only is like you know more experienced but is also someone who's power like you know like he has no clue about and he should be able to understand seeing yo that your dad must also be powerful and i don't know like that i was kind of thinking I, I was really surprised in this episode when you like not you sorry when ren just went complete nuts and he was just like just attacked you know um mikihiko so yeah I don't know, like that, that, that scene kind of really bothered me. I was like, what's happening? Why is he so pissed off? I'm guessing, and as I said, like, there's, there's, I think there's like a few factors uh, playing here. First of all, obviously, as he said, like he's pissed off at all the Asakuras, you know, because they, 
it's kind of bothering him like like popping out one after the other and another thing that's oh, i think that's kind of bothering him is uh like he feels as if he feels as if after seeing your strength he's feeling a little bit like you know his pride has been hurt you know he's feeling a little bit inferior and that in itself because of his you know big like you know huge pride him feeling inferior is not setting well with him and he's getting frustrated because of that because he knows that he probably needs more training and you is a lot stronger than him but he's being bothered like you know to actually accept that because his pride won't let him accept that it's kind of making him more stressed out i think that's another reason another reason is that as i said pride again because he feels as if like as his dad said that is like you know like tao family has like you know like is strong so why should we ask help from the asakura family do you think your technique is even stronger than us that that's another thing that's coming i think that again pride here again so i'm guessing that that's also kind of bothering him and a few other things i'm sure is kind of like you know uh, bothering him as well because uh yeah because and all these things are kind of making him lose reason and he he just like you know these are kind of stressing him out and that's why like as soon as like you know your dad comes in and tells him that yeah like we will teach you and like shows him what he's actually lacking in you know the thing that he said there um where is that section okay you've learned that spirits are not uh, tools and uh, discovered friendship then you made up your mind rebelled against your own family who went against your will and vowed never again to doubt again and is admirable okay but such hated but such fixed ideas are merely temporary tricks used by weak weak-willed uh, people to keep control of their minds when they feel that they might waver do you plan on burying your head in the sand your whole life like <clears throat> this portion like you know he gives a really interesting advice and i think that that is really like he hit the nail there and all these things i think that that like you know like is kind of hurting his pride and he's getting bothered by it so much that yeah like he he just is like he became went completely nuts here now this is the thing like you know about ren that i th think that it actually needs a little bit more improvement he's strong and i i really love the fact that he's prideful and it is needed especially in shaman fights but i think sometimes his pride his pride goes a bit too much you know like that's kind of counterproductive in a lot of ways and actually harmful which it, it kind of is like you know i don't know and <sighs> Yeah, like for example, as like you know, we can like he can clearly understand that Yo's dad is stronger, but he he won't listen here. So hopefully, I don't know, like if he, I don't know what to say here. Like as I said, I kind of like this whole attitude. You know, I am quite fond of this attitude that Ren has, but sometimes like, you know he goes a bit too far, and uh, I think yeah, I think that's uh, something that he needs to you know, take consideration with. Like just like you know, like it's okay that you are prideful, but just listen to, like you know, like constructive criticism. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, just listen to constructive criticism. If there's something that's really wrong with you, and you know, like someone is actively telling you, telling you that, and tells you to improve on it, if you yourself realize that, yeah, that's actually correct. Don't just like because of your pride. Don't just like deny that and you know like do the opposite don't do that that's actually harmful like at least at that uh, situation just swallow down your pride and accept it try to improve that thing and when you improve that and become like you know like you know better at it you know then you can again get back your pride take your pride back and become prideful again i don't know what i'm saying but you know like just be accept like you know being like you know being able to accept constructive criticism helps a lot uh and uh but yeah like that's one thing that actually bothers me about ren i don't know if that will change in the future but who knows we'll see
And another thing that's why the reason why Ren got so pissed is the thing that he said that <laughs> you Asakura family members are always like, you know, your heads are always in the cloud and everything like and I think that's probably he's, he's probably being bothered because of that because you know what like uh, yeah it, it's kind of like understandable in a way because as we see like you know Ren himself is very serious in these type of things you know and he went to, I'm guessing he went to soul training and everything and he he tried to improve himself and he became stronger you know he's a lot more stronger than he was before and he also thought that yeah like i'm so strong you will probably be either a little bit more stronger than me or at the same level or at a little bit less stronger than me it'll be something like that but when he actually came out and saw yo he realized that he's in no way closer to yo's power level and what's actually bothering him is not that yo is stronger what's actually bothering him i think is that he feels as if like he even after being so serious and so determined to get that power he was still not able to catch yo who is always so spacey and so like you know calm and chill like that's why he said like you guys are always fooling around like you know i, I think that's what is actually bothering him he he feels as if like how can yo with that type of an attitude you know become so strong and i who is so like you know like so serious about this so like I want this so much, with I have so much determination. Why am I not get, able to catch up with him? You know, so that's I think that's probably the biggest thing here. He like you know that's that's bothering him so much that after seeing uh, after suddenly Mikiko comes and says that yeah I'm going to teach you the same technique that Yo has. He got pissed off. You know he got completely pissed off. He felt as if like you know like they're saying that his power is not you know. <laughs> strong enough or something and that that's probably that probably hurt his pride and that's why he went nuts there and just yeah okay but let's see you know let's see the next episode will probably tell us and uh, you know as one thing that anna says is quite interesting is uh she says that even he tells yo she tells yo that even you must know what kind of man mikiko asakura is and uh, yo is like yeah but what can i do despite appearances he's more stubborn than ren he's more stubborn than ren <laughs> damn that's like a <laughs> that's an achievement i guess <laughs> but yeah like we kind of saw that you know like in, in, when when he was beating up ren he was like, you know what, I won't slip, like, you know, what was that? Yeah, here it is. I'm not planning on giving you any slip ups to capitalize on. He's like, yeah, I won't go easy on you. Like, I'm going to go full out on you. Like, I don't care. Like, if, like, you know, like whoever it is, who is my opponent. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go full out. And that's what he was actually like, you know, like, I guess that's what Alna was actually uh, talking with uh, yo with about he like and i was probably trying to say that yeah like you know how your dad is he he he's too serious and stubborn he won't give up unless and until ren admits defeat like that's what he, she was trying to say i think and yeah we can see that <clears throat> you know like damn so yeah, I think I think Ren actually could, you know, should actually like learn the good things from this instead of letting his pride get in the way. I don't know. We'll see. You know, like it's, it's this this whole thing is kind of giving me mixed signals. Like one, like sometimes I'm thinking that no, maybe Ren himself can do something. You know, with his own strength, with his own power. You know, maybe he won't actually need the Cho. Uh, and like you know I'm, I'm kind of thinking that sometimes and then sometimes i'm thinking that no maybe not maybe he should like swallow his pride and just learn it like, it's kind of giving me mixed signals so I'm, I'm still not actually able to make up my mind but it really will help if he actually learns the technique so we'll see we'll see what happens so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this is my reaction shaman king episode number 26 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so 
that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day